Toby, you ready? Hit it. Attention cork sniffers and guitar snobs across the land. This is Brazilian Rosewood. And Juan John, this stuff cost a fortune and it ain't Richard Hoover's fault because if you buy this stuff from any builder, it's gonna mm -hmm. cost you an arm and two legs, yeah. okay? Yeah. So now the question is, all the cork sniffers, all the guitar snobs want to know, is this stuff worth it, man? Dude, I'm gonna tell you what. There's a lot of great guitars out there. There's a lot of amazing builders out there. Um, and when you've been playing guitar most of your life and you've played a lot of nice guitars and a lot of the best guitars out there, you have amazing builders like Richard Hoover at the Santa Cruz Guitar Company mm -hmm. that takes it to a whole nother level mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Yeah. And you may have noticed these are little baby size guitars. They call this the Firefly. And it is a three quarter size guitar. Some people even call it a travel guitar. But Juan John, it takes just as long and costs just as much to build a small guitar as it does to build a dreadnought. Any luthier will tell you that. And you know what, I'm gonna tell you, I don't like that word travel with these guitars yeah. because these guitars um, don't, they, they, they're just not. These are amazing instruments that could be played on any stage, yeah. can be played in any studio, and yeah. they sound incredible. They don't sound like travel guitars yeah, they don't they don't belong instrument. in that no they don't belong in that this is their their whole their own thing you know and it's really cool because richard hoover said something when we, we did an interview with him once and he said he said that uh, a long time ago when the guitar first came to be it was this size for years and years and mm -hmm. years up till about yeah. the the late 1700s 1800s it's when they changed the body sizes but this is what the guitar started as mm -hmm. there was a lot of punch there was a lot of volume and these guitars have all of it yeah 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 well, these Fireflies are almost identical, except for the soundboard, which I've got a Master Grid California Cedar. Juan John, what you got going over there? I have got a Sinker Redwood. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. That's a stunner. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are wondering, the difference between these two woods, it's actually quite stark. The uh, Cedar sits tonally way over here, while you take spruce, it sits way over here. Redwood actually sits a lot closer to spruce than it does cedar. A lot of people confuse redwood mm -hmm. and cedar, but they don't sound a lot alike. Correct. It sounds more like spruce than it does like cedar. Yeah, I think redwood has um, a lot of the depth that, uh, that you know, spruce does have. Yeah. Um, it has a little more depth, I think, but it still does have those pronounced highs. Yeah. As to where cedar has great dimension, but it definitely is a warmer sound. Absolutely. Yeah. Warmer, richer. Let, let's hear that Redwood, man. All right, let's do it. Vibrance, just, it just jumps out of the Dude, sound it, hole, man. It's still sustaining. Can like you play it the same thing? For a guitar this size, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to play it, you hang it on your wall. <laughs> you it's a piece of art. <laughs> yeah. the difference man it's quite a bit more mellow yeah it is quite it a bit almost more you could almost say it sounds more broken in mm. it's had a warmer sound mm -hmm. to it doesn't it it does and you know what there's a lot of players out there that prefer that there's guys that don't change their strings at all ever because they want they that the darker sound yeah, yeah. They want the darker sound let's yeah. um, let's try the old G chord test all right let's do it <laughs> I tried, man. <laughs> Blasphemy, not on these guitars. <laughs> wow. 
different. Big time. Different. You know what I, I really like though? Uh, these, both these guitars, um, they exaggerate the sound of these woods. Mm -hmm. The builds, they sustain, they have great punch, they have great tone, but the color is bright. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a bright sound. It's not technically treble bright, it's just out there. Yeah. Same with that. Like these it's just got accentuate a brilliance the woods. to it, doesn't it? There's a brilliance. Yeah. That's a good word to use. Yeah. That's a perfect word because there's not a lot of guitars that have this kind of brilliance sitting in a body size like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, what did I do? I went too far. It's the short scale. <laughs> <laughs> There, were you back on the bridge a little bit on uh -huh. that strum? Yeah, I could oh, tell. Oh yeah, yeah. So very dynamic. <laughs> you're asking. Very responsive. Right. You asked earlier if guitars like this are worth the money. Mm. Okay. This happens on any guitar. You can move. You can move it. You know, you come up here and you're like, darkens it up. You know. Yeah, yeah. Or, but on these guitars, it's so much more pronounced. Yeah. The dynamics on these are so much more pronounced. Or, you know? Yeah. Now, Juan John, what's gonna happen if we do some heavy strumming on this? So let me try something real okay. quick. I'm gonna play it on here, and then uh, let's play the same thing on there. So cool. let, let's see how this sounds. Guys, like, these are like speakers, just like, I know. I know. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Do you think that this sounds great? Do you think the Brazilian Rosewood is overrated? Now, keep in mind, you're not going to get quite the volume out of these little boxes as you do out of a Dreadnought, but still, there's a lot of presence in these guitars, in these baby-sized guitars, Wanja. Dude, it's huge. I mean, if you're, well, nine times out of ten, here's, here's the deal. Nine times out of ten, people are going to have, either going to have pickups in these things, or they're gonna mic them for a stage, mm -hmm. okay? Or you're gonna be sitting in a studio, right. that sort of thing, right. okay? The tone out of these guitars, yes, they're not a dreadnought, yes, they're not a rounded shoulder type thing, mm -hmm. it's different, but the quality of tone is still there. It's mm -hmm. not, like you said, a mm -hmm. novelty instrument. Mm -hmm. This is definitely just a different guitar. Yeah. Yeah, high, super high quality, different guitar. Um, you know, it, it's not just in the looks either, it's in the feel. It's in the build. Like when, we, when we're strumming these guitars here, put your headphones on because this is this is definitely worth um, listening to through headphones. But as you're strumming these guitars, you can feel them resonating against your body. I can feel them resonating against me and the whole neck, my hands, everything. Like you can just feel them moving, and it's beautiful. You you rarely get builds that great. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And yeah, Richard Hoover knocked this out of the park. It was like, okay, yeah, yeah. this is how you build. This is how you build a guitar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the demo. This is the Santa Cruz Firefly in Master Grade Seeker Redwood over Brazilian Rosewood and Master Grade Cedar over Master Grade Brazilian Rosewood. That's Juan John, I'm Brendan. This is Toby, Toby uh, vibrating back here. And uh, <laughs> we wanna thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our channel. Santa Cruz Firefly, Juan John, Brendan, Toby, we're out. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.